Anyways, without further fucking do, let's see all the shit that I've been up to. Okay, first thing that I've been up to is, look at this backpack. Look, look at this backpack. Look at how fucking cute this backpack is. I love it. I saw it in the trailer, and I'm like, I gotta have it. So I got it. Okay, moving on. Uh, God, what direction do I take you guys to first? Uh, you know what? Let's start, like, down here, um, and then move around. Okay, so, first thing is first, I need you guys to know, gyroids are absolutely the most important thing in my life, and they're everywhere, but, like, 95% of them are meant to be hidden, like, you know, out of plain sight, or kind of blended in, or something, they're made to look like, you know, a little secret society that's going on, until the big boom, but we're not gonna get to the big boom just yet, we're leaving the best for last, um, but some of them are just, you know, out there in the semi-open, and you'll see. Um, so this one right over here, I think is so fucking cute. I think they're all fucking cute. But yeah, this one's got like its own little space over here. Privacy. Not a lot of people decide to go this way. When when they look at the beach, they're like, oh, I'm just going to go left. So under the radar over there. Um, I got this volleyball net. I've been wanting a volleyball net <clears throat> since the first day this game came out. I saw how big the beaches are, and I'm like, ooh, I hope we get a volleyball net. And we never got it. We got a soccer net instead. And I was like, yeah, I guess, but ciao, what up? Um, so, yeah, moving up here, I have this beautiful, beautiful beauty, this little flower pop gyroid. Thing. It's, so, oh, it's so cute. And, oh, my God, look at it. Look at it. Doesn't it just move you to tears? It's so fucking cute. I can't. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Look at Plucky. Plucky, God bless you. Plucky dropped... So, she didn't see me. <laughs> Plucky dropped some fucking therapy on my ass yesterday. She goes to me, if you're ever unsure of how you're feeling, close your eyes, take a deep breath, keep your eyes closed, look inside yourself, and look up. With your eyes still closed, look up and tell me what the weather is like. That is how you're feeling. She even gave me options. She gave me options like a cloudy sky or a sunny sky or some other shit. But I tried it like IRL and it worked and I was like, oh my God, I was happy in that moment. And I wasn't sure, I was just kind of, you know, like sitting on the couch and I did it and I looked up and I saw a nice sunny sky with a few clouds and it made me smile. And I'm like, wow, okay, I guess I really am happy. It just made me even happier knowing that I'm aware of my happiness. It's nice. It's nice. It's very nice. It sounds really dumb and really simple, but it's really nice. But anyway, speaking about dumb, simple, and really nice, look at this. Look at how this has been redone. I love it. I love what I've done with this. Thank you very much. Pat on the back to myself. This fucking gyroid is so cute. Look at it. Look at what it does. Why? Ooh, it just scrunches up its face. It's so cute. Um, this one I got over here, uh, not a lot of people come back here, as a matter of fact. A lot of people just, for whatever reason, even though there's like a straight path all the way back there, and you can see that there's stuff back there, when people usually come to visit, they come here, and they're like, Oh my god, this is so fucking cute! And then they just kind of leave. Like, I don't know if they get hypnotized by everything that's going on here, that they forget their stuff back there. But, I don't know, whatever. The point is, this one is uh, pretty much in plain sight, but not too plain. Um, he looks like he wants to weightlift, so I put him here in Sparrow's gym. Also, like, I like the gym stuff. <laughs> I like gyms. So, yeah, and not just Pokemon gyms. But anyways, yeah, moving on. Um, I also have a lot of hidden paths, or like shortcuts, around my island. I've always had them, and I've always tried to incorporate them to make my island feel like very natural, but also kind of feel like a video game level where you have to like traverse. So yeah, I have stuff like this hidden, like, out of plain sight. Like this little fella! He's so cute! This one's one of my favorite new ones. It's so cute. I don't know what it is about it, but I just, it, ugh, it's so captivating. But yeah, I got vines down there that people often miss because when you come from down here, watch, I'll show you. If you skippity boop ba boop 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 da ee 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 ooh ooh, you come around here, you normally don't really see it because the banner kind of hides it. See, strategic! This is all strategies or str 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 str
Strate whatever, did that, strategies. I'm trying to mispronounce it on purpose, but I can't come up with anything on the spot. Whatever. So, moving on. Let's go back where we uh, dropped it from up here. So, yeah. Uh, hidden shortcuts all over the place. I'm keeping the pumpkins turned around until November ends. Or at least until Thanksgiving ends, because I like pumpkins. Not just in Halloween season, I guess. But, you know, not just spooky season. Pumpkins are an every season gourd. And I love them. Uh, I got this shopping cart from uh, Friends Island. Um, this AB thing, and I actually took it to, uh, Cyrus to edit it, in case anybody doesn't know, Cyrus and Reese, the married couple from that wedding season thing, um, yeah, I say that, but to me, that's not where I know them from, I know them from retail, because I've played every Animal Crossing ever, like, to the point where my fingers are bleeding, send help. Moving on! Um, I have another one back here. A lot of people miss this one, but I feel like it's very obvious, but I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me being paranoid. I have one here that's not obvious at all, and it brings me down here. Um, this is just like a nice viewing spot. You could go around, but you could never access this point previous. Excuse the fuck me? Excuse the absolute fuck me? Who put you here and why? I mean, it rained all day, and I'm talking about, like, it poured all day on my island yesterday. So, I'm still finding some strange hybrids here and there. I don't know how the fuck I get a blue from pinks. I don't know. Sometimes I get the strangest colors, but whatever. Anyways. Um, oh, look at that. I just noticed that this is new as well. And I know where exactly you're going. But not yet. Oh, it's 10. How pleasant. Another thing I've been doing every morning that has actually been energizing the fuck out of me has been the morning aerobics. Um, well, I mean, I guess they're just called aerobics because you can do them at any time. But yeah, I've been doing them in the morning. Like, first thing I do when I wake up is just like, all right, let's go do this aerobic thing. It's like about a minute long. Very nice. Uh, people in Japan do that. Uh, and, and it's just, it's so cute. It's so nice. It's pleasant. It feels like the whole community is coming together. Um, I'm gonna make a wheat field. I thought, for whatever reason, that if I just planted a bunch of wheat, it'll grow into the field that I'm looking for. And then I realized, no! No, you stupid fucking bitch! It does not work that way. You have to, like, make it. It's a DIY, I believe. There's another gyroid up there. Right oh, to the left. Oh, over there. Yeah, yeah. Right by Flora's house. I felt like that one was very appropriate for Flora, because it jingles. It goes, shing, 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 shing. Like, yeah, it goes like a little jingle ball. Anyways, yeah, so I'm just getting a bunch anyways, so it's not wasted. Um, Because I'm sure I'm going to need a whole lot of wheat to make a wheat field. Or make enough wheat field. Or I don't even know what the DIY is called. I think it's just called wheat. Or tall wheat or something. I don't know, whatever. The point is, I'm going to have enough material once these babies are fully grown. And once I get that DIY, wherever that is. Um, I got the roosts. Uh, I'm not gonna go in there. You guys already know how the roost works. Tomorrow, I'm able to start taking coffee out on the go instead of just sitting down once a day. So, the more coffee you drink, the more stuff you're able to do with it. And I think the more, uh, NPCs begin to show up and have, like, unique conversations and stuff like that. If I am not mistaken. Another thing that I really, really like are these... These vines, oh god, these vines. As soon as I saw them in the trailer, I was like, yo, I need them. Because there are a lot of access points that I want for people to just, you know, like, tickle your curiosity. Usually to get up here, you would need a ladder, and not everybody likes to carry around a ladder. I, for one, don't really like to carry around a ladder, but I'm still going to carry one just in case. Because there have been a lot of places where I'm just like, oh, I need to go up there to edit this or do that with the update. So I'm just going to carry a ladder for now. I don't know if it's going to stay like that forever, but whatever. Anyways, point is, here's another beautiful little baby. I call this one Willow Smith because this bitch just starts going. Look at her. Look at her go. Look at her. Yes. Whip that hair back and forth, baby. Yes, baby. Whip that bitch. Shit. Oh, my God. Fuck it up, sis. Okay. Moving this way, I have a gyroid over there to the left, and it's on the lookout. Hold on. Can I, can I get a better view of that? Yes. Okay, Whoop. Uh, over there, top left corner, 
there's a gyroid and it's just on the lookout in the little pirate cove that is its pirate cove it belongs to the gyroid now this complete island has been taken over like 100 percent of this island has been taken over the ownership has been passed to uh the gyroids so yeah this is one of my favorite spots on my island this this oasis specifically up here because it gives me that sense of like those um you know those areas in video games like n64 games in particular they would have like nice looking ambiance in the distance but you could never actually reach them unless you like hack the game or something um yeah so this part of the oasis the second layer of it with uh these um what is it called it's like lounge chairs or beach chairs or whatever uh i i decorated the place with those because it gives me like that kind of sense um like maybe ocarina of time or majora's mask water areas that you would see like hills or so or like maybe banjo kazooie i've never played banjo kazooie i'm really excited too once it comes to the n64 um library on switch um but i have seen some like some stuff and some gameplay and i'm like really digging it like i've always wanted to play banjo kazooie as a kid but you know as a kid you don't have money so you're at the mercy of adult money and adult money is dirty money and we're not gonna get into that but moving on i don't know if i should take you guys this way nah 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 basically that leads up to my peaches garden but <laughs> we'll get to that back here um i have a a vine hidden back there to get me faster to uh, Croak's house in case I'm down there or whatever. Because before, oh, look at this baby. Look at this precious baby. Oh, little baby. Ah, oh, I love you. As soon as I saw it, my heart melted. My heart melted. Also, I have not been time traveling at all. There's just so much going on. The reason I have this many gyroids is because there is some kindness left out in the world. There is some niceness, some juicy goodness. Some kind soul came by and gave me all of the fucking gyroids. Like, all of them. He started by giving me ten, and some of them were repeated. Like, I think, like, two of them were repeated, so it was, like, maybe eight and two extras. And then he hits me up again. He's like, hey, my buddy came by and just dropped off a fuck ton of gyroids. Do you want the extras? I'm like, please do. The extras were everything. He gave me everything. So I spent a whole lot of time editing and placing them strategically. To, to like this happened like maybe like three days ago or something. And today in the morning or earlier this morning, um, I am still finding like better placements for them and better colors. As time passes, I get better inspiration. Um, so yeah, this is another one because Flora's house is possibly the most difficult one to get to, or not the most difficult, but the most tedious because you have to go like way the fuck around like go all the way around go down there to the top left of the corner of the screen and then go down to the museum is past that um quote unquote wheat field or soon to be wheat field um and then get to her house uh but yeah now i can just go down there but not a lot of people know that because i have it hidden and the reason why why i said i knew where this was going was because i'm gonna fill this up with a whole bunch of lilies of the valley so that nobody has any suspicion that there is a little vine here. Speaking of little vines, this is another one right here. I also have gyroids here. They are so fucking cute. I cannot stand how cute they are. I've always loved gyroids, but these new redesigns are just to die for. I still love the OG design possibly the most, but I have an extreme appreciation for uh for these new designs all of them all of them are just absolutely they just smack they just smack the fuck out of my heart in the best most uh satisfying way anyway so yeah this is uh, a nice little shortcut down here uh of course if you're on this side you don't have to go all the way around you could just like come down the first couple of vines that i showed you guys and then just hop across here so yeah um, this is like a mini tour, I guess, of my island. Uh, well, not really mini because it's kind of detailed, <laughs> but yeah, it's, you know, it's at a different pace than a regular tour. I have this vine here that's just, you know, just in case, I, like, if you want to come up 
and you want to go that way instead of going that way you don't have to go all the way around this one I didn't mind that it sticks out a little bit but I tried to stuff it in this corner so that it's not too too obvious anyway but it, it really doesn't matter it really doesn't matter it's oh my god it's so cute why are you so fucking cute oh my god I have another one here another vine I have a bunch of vines hidden everywhere uh, there's one here look at this Look at this, look at this baby. Look at this baby. Look at this sweet little baby. Sweet little vibe. Oh my god, oh, look at you living your motherfucking life in this secret foresty area. Oh god, I love it. They're just kind of like, you know, vibing secretly. Kind of like the Koroks from uh, The Legend of Zelda. I'm a humongous, dungulous Zelda fan. Like, I have tattoos on my body, and all of them are Zelda tattoos. So, yeah, I, I, I love the Zelda series. But yeah, uh, we're gonna come around this way in a little bit. I got these trees, these pine trees. They're fucking beautiful. God, Jesus almighty Christ. Um, that, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I, my brain wants to call it a gazebo, but it's not a gazebo. Whoever knows the name of that, that thing, that. I got that and I edited it to make it look pink because pink is just like, it's just the color to, to be. It's the color to do. Pink and green are the motherfucking go-to colors for me. Um, like I said, I still have some pumpkins out because, you know, Thanksgiving and it's fall. Uh, these are going to get replaced um, with some new items that I ordered. Um, I got this. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. That is not what I meant to do. My finger actually slipped there. Slippy fingers. Um, but yeah, I got this uh, topiary, 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 bottomiary. I'm going there. This is not grinder. God, Jesus Almighty Christ. Anyways, yeah. So I got this one. This is my peaches garden. I have always wanted like a nice peaches garden IRL ever since uh, I played Super Mario 64, and then you like would see her. Um, it wasn't really the garden area. It is like the place with the fountain. That's like. Allegedly, L is real is written on the fountain or whatever. So when I was a kid, I really liked that area for whatever reason. I'm just like, oh, how nice would it be? And then my brain started coming up with imaginative, um, semi-creative ideas. And this is kind of its realization of it. I'm still waiting to see what new items I find that I can integrate into this. Uh, or not integrate, and incorporate no i think both words are accurate here i don't know it's still early in the morning but i'm just really excited i have little sleep because of this game um i tend to doze off uh minutes at a time throughout the day because this game is just it, it it's so nice that it's so relaxing anyways yeah so over there i have that gyroid with uh, the Bowser flag up because I like Bowser and I feel like this one kind of represents Bowser a little bit and this one kind of represents Peach so I have it right in front of the power star everything I do I do it with a purpose I do it with an idea we are not taking that warp pipe and you'll see why I don't I don't want to spoil the fun um so yeah wrapping around here uh, I haven't really done a lot indoors yet so we're not gonna go in there i really like these lights a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot i have these irl um or at least similar very very similar and i love them they're fantastic this wedding arch that i had over here was fucking scrapped because it's just those lights are so much better um and this place isn't really supposed to be like a romantic area it's more it's more so like a nice chill area of solitude like just come here relax by yourself you got this little baby right here he's so cute i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep him here or not but this one oh my god this one i can't tell you how many times i pass by here and don't even notice this one because it's blending in but i fucking love it and i love that it blends in um i have a radio back here playing chill wave but chill wave okay I accidentally got Chill Wave because I already have all the songs that I want from KK Slider. So I just, every Saturday that I catch him, uh, I just ask him for a random song. And he gives me a random song. And like 99% of the time, it's a new song. This time he gave me Chill Wave. I heard it, the live version. I was like, damn, this song is kind of good. It's like, you know, it's nice. I heard the air check and I'm like, damn, this song is fucking good. It's really nice. I like it. 
So, yeah. I, I have it here. I feel like it fits here just so... Mm, chef's kiss. But it's so low. And especially with the waterfalls here, it, you can't really hear it. So I'm, like, trying to get a better player, like a better music player that plays music louder. In case anybody didn't know, yes, the type of music player you have will determine the type of sound and uh, the volume. Yeah. I know. Crazy. It, was, it wasn't like that in previous games. I think in New Leaf, they had something, like, akin to it, but it wasn't as... Uh, extensive as this one so yeah this is another thing this fucking oh god another thing i don't remember what it's called this japanese gazebo yes everything is going to be a different type of gazebo until i can figure out the name but yes this kind of gazebo over here oh look you can look at the vines from there but a lot of people don't really stop here um but yeah if you catch any of my uh hidden paths or shortcuts good for you like really it is it is good i'm glad that you can catch it because i make it difficult but i don't want to make it impossible i mean this one is completely impossible unless you just like decide to do that but you gotta have a really keen eye you know um but anyways yeah i really like this i put another pine tree here i know you can't really see it um because it's hidden behind that one so i might actually move that to the left but then it'll block this. And honestly, I'd rather this be visible and this just like poke out a little bit to, you know, give that sense of immersion or whatever the fuck. Um, moving on. Did I already come here? I already showed you guys this part. Yeah, Punchy's house. Yeah, 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 we've been here, we've been here. Moving on, moving on, moving on. This is old news. Um, coming around back towards the entrance um sparrow you are not going anywhere baby and your birthday is coming up little scorpio baby aries cuz um i'm gonna replace these two street lights i've already ordered them and i hope that i can edit them to the ones that i saw online i don't really look up anything i just see things every now and then that pop up on my like uh news feed on social media and I saw uh, these items that I really, really like. Um, and I ordered what I believe is that item, but I have to edit it in order to get it. I think. I'm not sure. If not, well, I tried. Until I get them. These will stay up, though. Sparrow, stop thinking. Today, Punchy was thinking. I'm trying to get rid of Punchy. Um, I know, tragic. I love Punchy. But I just hate what they did with the lazies. I feel like a broken record. Um... Yeah, today Punchy was thinking, and I'm like, holy shit, hallelujah, he was finally thinking. Everybody on this island has had a thought bubble at least five times, and Punchy has had it zero until now. And when I talk to him, he's like, hey, I've been thinking about what new game to play. How about you play this uh, scavenger hunt thing with me? And I had to go play a game with him, which I said yes to because he's Punchy. I don't hate him by any means. I absolutely love him. But I just, I don't like lazies in this game. Very disappointed with them. Um, but yeah, this this little guy, this little guy right here, this little guy, he has my heart. I mean, they all do. But this one has a special place in my heart. Look at how fucking cute. No, 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 no. You, you got to really appreciate this. I love this feature, by the way. I've been playing so much of this game in first person just because it's so nice. Look at that ass. Look at that ass, honey. Anyways, that's not what we're here to do. Look at this baby. How can anybody be upset with that baby existing? Oh my God, bless you. So I have also been getting all of the uh, new veggies and stuff, uh, except this one. This one's just pumpkins. Those aren't new, but still, and I, I got them all thanks to some friends that, who had some stuff and uh, some people online. Uh, you know, so the Animal Crossing community being accessible through online means is the healthiest way to just feel nice without having to really try very hard. It's just, Animal Crossing people are just nice because Animal Crossing is nice. Even when Animal Crossing isn't nice, it's nice. I got this. <laughs> okay. Um, so my precious lovely husband, he loves coffee. He has a coffee obsession. But when he drinks too much coffee, he gets twitchy. And I just, I, I nicknamed this one Jay 
because <laughs> that's my husband's name. I nicknamed this one Jay because uh, he's over here running this like nice little coffee shop, and he's all twitchy. Look at him go! He's fucking losing his shit. He's having like, a mini seizure. So yeah, I actually told him about it. And he couldn't stop laughing. It was so cute. It was so funny. I love it. Now I have Jay here, um, and the other one, Willow Smith. Those are the two that have names for now. Willow Smith, because that bitch be whipping her hair back and forth. Uh, let's see. I have some new table items here, but nothing, nothing crazy. Oh, that's right. I got this motherfucking crazy shit. I love this item. I don't know why, but as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yo, I want to have this. I, I want to have it. I want to have it. I really like it. I don't know if I have to just press it once or keep pressing it. No. Oh, okay. I just got to press it once. Hmm. Other times I've had to like spam it. I don't know. It's weird, but maybe it's like fixed with the latest update. They just had to do an update, like a server maintenance last night. And it's funny because I forgot that they mentioned they were doing a server maintenance at 7.55 PM where I live. And I had a friend over checking on my island with all the stuff that I added. And, um, a little over halfway through the tour, it, it just said, hey, server maintenance starting. And I'm like, fuck! So, yeah. Um, oh, God, Plucky, I love you, Plucky. I know she's out there somewhere, but this is her house. I love her. There's another little gyroid up here, just yodeling. I feel like it looks like a yodeler. This is going to be the yodeler. That's not its name, but it's, you know, its title, the yodeler. Yodel, baby. That one back there, a lot of people don't even notice that it's here. Like, I can't tell you how many times people have just ran past here and just don't even notice it. Um, people that are, like, looking for the gyroids that I have. I should do that. I should maybe have somebody or, like, set up, like, a stream or something where it's just people coming in to find all the gyroids. Be like, here, find all the gyroids. Tell me where you find them. You know, it's, it's, I'll give like money out or something or prizes. I'm so fucking rich. Um, I don't know, maybe look mile tickets or something. Something that people might white, uh, white. <laughs> I was going to say like and want and they just fused and they said white. Uh, yeah, that one over there. Very aloha. Very fucking tropical. And oh, what do we have here? Um, I don't have a lot of cooking DIY or DIY. <laughs> I don't have a lot of cooking recipes. Uh, I also don't really expect to put out a lot of dishes as decoration. If you're gonna go into the water, I'm not even gonna bother. Are you gonna go into the water? Okay, no. Yay! I thought I was just gonna keep going down. I don't know why, sometimes they do that. Stylish wall spotlight. Okay, I'll check it out when I get home. Um, yeah, I wanna replace this. Not because I don't like it, but because I want new items and I have a couple of these already lying around in different places. This one, it's not that it feels out of place, but it's just kind of redundant to have it like right in front of the house, you know? But I think it's cute. I still really, really like it. I don't mind having it here at all. I'm in no rush to replace it, but I just know that there's going to be something that I'm going to like and I'm going to want to replace it with something. So I'm just waiting to see what I find. I have no idea what it is or if it even exists, but the idea is there. This is how my brain works. I have ideas, not targets. I promise you. Um, these little tool sheds, I fucking love them. They're so useful. I have one here and I have one next to the, the, the nooks. I'm thinking of incorporating maybe a third one somewhere. Um, so nothing new here. Uh, I have this chair that I really like. I put it here for cookie. I'm gonna put some stuff back here, but I haven't like decided what I want to put. I don't wanna put what I used to have before um, spooky season came out. So yeah, I've made way like for new items and stuff and redecorations. Cause I'm like, I want rebranding. I want rebranding of Hollow Drum. That's the name of my island, Hollow Drum, in case anybody didn't know, here you go. And boom, proof is in the pudding. Anyways, yeah, I want to get like a bunch of new stuff and like whatever seems repetitive or it seems like it's outdated or old news or just something that is just kind of meh that I feel like I put there and made the best scenario that I could with the items that we had pre-update. Yeah, it's all getting scrapped. These clothes, I may or may not keep here. I think they look super fucking cute, especially with the pineapple design for Cookie. 
But yeah, anyways, going this way because now you officially have service here. Yes, look at it. Look who's here and shit. Um, I may replace um, some of these dining sets or like table settings, I think is what the actual item is called. Like, you know, this shit, this, this on the table, this, not the coconut drink, not the little oil lamp, this, the table setting. Um, with some food items because, you know, <laughs> now the kitchen actually functions as a kitchen. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel kind of weird having food out when it rains and it's, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, I know. I have it on the beach over down this way. Over down this way, yeah. Uh, we're not going to go all the way over there. But, you know, whatever. It's something that I'm still, like, thinking about. I'm considering it. Anyways, now for the real meat and potatoes of this whole fucking tour. This is it. I have a gyroid village. And it begins here with the curious little watch out. It's just here. Just keep in watch. There isn't really anything to protect is you can't hurt them over my fucking dead body. And even then, I will make sure I come back from the dead like a Pokemon and haunt your ass until you fucking die. You drop dead instantly and bam, not a single one of these gyroids have been hurt. I will become the flame pillar equivalent of this fucking gyroid village. Not one. I will die, but you can guarantee that none of these babies will be hurt. I can guarantee it. Anyways, so yeah, moving on. Uh, I have an Arphoid here. I remember some of their names. Some of them. I have like two or three Arphoids. That's why I remember that one. I also like the sound they make. They, they bark. <laughs> it's cute. Um, also watching from up top, semi-hidden behind the flowers, blending in with the fluorescent light of these mushrooms. I got this adorable baby back there. That one is one of my favorites too. It's It might be my like number one, but I'm not sure. Look at it. It's so fucking cute. Also, coming in here in first person into this forest at night when everything is just lit up by the mushrooms. Oh my god. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Just let it sink in. They're all just here. Scattered around the forest to either play tricks, to watch observe just existing this one is it has it has issues it has issues good issues adorable issues i love you okay i can't see you from there there you go i absolutely adore you um but yeah this one too this is so fucking cute uh i got this one over here that my friend named shakira so it's keeping the name shakira Look at it. Them hips don't lie. This is another one of my favorites. Definitely top three. It's so cute. It's so cute. I need more doubles or triples of this one because I only have one. It's over here. I feel like it fits perfectly in this little area over here. Um, but I want another one. At least like two more. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. There's one here. <laughs> I got like two of these. So cute. Um, so... I got one of these from a friend that knew that I wanted it because I had told her. Um, the same one that dubbed the other gyroid over there, Shakira. Uh, I got one of those from her and I didn't have it here, but I'm just like, I don't know where I'm going to stuff this giant thing, but I'm going to stuff it somewhere because I love this item and I love plants. And then to my surprise, another friend of mine, the one that I was giving the tour to, just sent another one of these by mail he had no idea i even had one he just sent it by mail because he assumed that i would want one and he assumed correctly but now i have two and i was like oh now that i have two i know what the fuck i'm gonna do with them because i wasn't really sure what i was gonna do with one i kind of just had it stuffed in my peaches garden but i wasn't convinced and i was like eh, i'll probably find a better use for it somewhere down the line but somewhere down the line happened like that same fucking day because yeah my friends came in fucking clutch i didn't even have to ask them for it um so here we are the gyroid village my lovely gyroid village 
I absolutely love this. This is my pride and joy. I mean, my campsite has always been my pride and joy. This is the place that I'm just like, if I'm ever going to win an award for anything on my island, it's my campsite because it, it's just, it's the thing. It is the single most amazing thing on this island, in my opinion. But yeah, these are my little babies in their community, their village. This is theirs now. Um, I got a bubloid here doing laundry. Um, this one over here, considering taking a dip. And it's just, you know, it's got like cold feet. It's like, oh, I don't know if I should hop in or if I should just leave. I don't know. So cute. It dips in. It, it dips in. Uh, I'm waiting for it to dip in. But it just kind of like... It, do it. Do it. There you go. Ah, it dipped in. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. I love you. 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 Um, and this one, it blows bubbles. There it goes. <laughs> I don't know why, but when I have visitors, it doesn't blow bubbles. Um, maybe it's a glitch. Maybe they fixed it with the latest update. Um, I mean, I just updated it th this morning. I haven't had any visitors, but uh, something for me to test out. Um, I also got this design today because I'm like, if, if this is going to be my gyroid village, then they need to have gyroid clothing, even though they don't wear clothes. But yeah, this one's over here just kind of like shimming to the rhythm of the flames. These two are over here just looking to see what they could find in the pond. This one clearly very disappointed with how much of nothing is going on. And this one is just kind of like trying to not explode its brain as to why it can't catch any fish or see any fish in the pond or anything like that. But yeah, it's very small, so nothing's going to spawn there unless I throw some fish bait or something. And I don't want to make it any bigger. I think it's the perfect size. If I make it any bigger, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. It's also kind of centered, so if I make it bigger, I'd have to expand it in both directions and maybe to the front. And I don't know. I, just, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um... So yeah, I added these vines that are very, very obvious. They're very there. I, I tried to kind of like hide it or blend it in with this mushroom and the partition, but I'm not convinced with it. It's gonna change. I don't know when, I don't know for what, but it's gonna change. But yeah, the reason I have those here is because sometimes I'm in this area down there and I just, you know, I want easy access back here. Now, one might think, but wait a minute, didn't you already have an easy access point with your warp pipe? How very deductive. Yes, I did. But my warp pipe is not here. My warp pipe, I have moved down here. Yes, and if you're asking why I have some mushroom partitions up there is so that I don't... <laughs> Uh, end up there when I hop out uh, watch so the warp pipe has this thing when you hop into it you have a chance that you're going to be facing towards the the ledge over there like the second uh, tier and you'll actually hop up there and since I'm trying not to have uh, my ladder or anything like that. Or even if I have a fucking ladder on me, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't want to have to take extra steps to walk around, find the fucking vine, and then climb down. No. Fuck that shit. I'm just gonna be here. Put it the fuck over there to get it out of the way. That's another thing that I like. It's no longer occupying space. Um, and yeah. It's just, it just fits better, in my opinion. These vines, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna hide them better later on, but... It doesn't bother me too much that they're in plain sight because a lot of people don't even know that they lead that way. A lot of people will just come here and think, oh, this is just so I could get a nice view from the top. No, it's not just so you could get a nice view, although you can do that. You're more than welcome to come up here and just take in the scenes. But no, that is not it. This one's over here. He's just like, my belly's hungry. Feed me. So I put a pumpkin in front of him. And this one's over here losing his absolute fucking shit because he's like, WHY THE FUCK IS MY PLATE SO FUCKING EMPTY? I'M HUNGRY AS SHIT! But, they don't eat. So, yeah, there's that. So yeah, I absolutely love what I've done with the place. If I do say so myself. Now, let me show you a bit of what I'm talking about. 
when I say coming in here at nighttime is just magical, especially with the right filter. This filter at nighttime, oh my God, just the colors pop. And I like that you could go up and down. I mean, I don't really use the tilt, but I mean, not to walk around anyway, but for like a cool photo op, ooh, tell me that doesn't look cool. But yeah, just in here at nighttime is quite the experience. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been up to. In case anybody has been wondering, nobody, nobody has been wondering. Literally nobody has been wondering. Not even I have been wondering. Well, I mean, <laughs> why would I be wondering if I know? Plucky! Talk to me, baby! Party is tiring. I just came back from two weeks of vacation and I'm still fucking tired. Well, I mean, I came back, like, what, four days ago? Five days ago? I hate that we can only take Cap'n's tours once a day. But, you know what? I got all the gyroids. So, I'm not even that stressed out about it. Uh, but I do want, like, more DIY. Like, <laughs> the mossy stuff, or the glowing moss stuff. I have the stools, as you guys saw in the campsite. Um, and today, I got the Glowing Moss Flooring DIY. Um, I don't think I'm going to use it just because there's one flooring in particular that I want to use in my basement. And that's where I originally considered using the, the Moss DIY, or the Moss Flooring, um, in my basement. But I saw on Facebook this other flooring that looks absolutely fucking spectacular, it's cool as shit! And I need it. I need it. I need it like crack heads need crack. Which they don't. They do not need crack. But, you know, that sense of necessity. That desperation. That's how I need it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see how this looks. What is this? A picnic basket. I have it, but let's see what color it's in. Not that it matters, because I could just take it to Cyrus. Oh, I don't know. Is it even the same color? Is it the same one that I have? No, I have that one in blue, and I prefer it in blue. Let's keep it. Um, sell the one that's in my pocket, though. So, yeah, see? Boop. Do. I didn't have to do that, because I'm going home. <laughs> but, you know, I just wanted to. Um, I guess you guys are going to see my house, then. I mean, just, like, for a second, because I just want to see what this uh, thing looks like. Um, so yeah, now I can edit the entryways and I've made them like this, but only in this room and in my bathroom. Downstairs is the same, uh, to the right, I think I'm gonna change it, but not to this. To the left, I'm actually gonna change this room entirely, but I'm waiting until I get the necessary items. I don't wanna just have it there empty. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change up my basement with some of the new items and stuff. It's very exciting because my basement was the first room that I finished in this house Because uh, I knew it. I'm like I want to have a potions room. I want a, a room where I can you know like make potions and shit um, It's not really witchcraft. It's it's specifically like a potion room. That's what I call it because I'm not like doing witchy stuff I guess but it looks like witchy stuff because people associate potions with witches, but yeah, whatever. Anyways, and I love witches, so, um, this thing, stylish wall, whatever the fuck. Uh, blah, 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 blah. all right. Wow, that, okay. Uh, let's see. Hang on, wall. Ooh, okay. Okay. Hmm. I like it. I just don't know what I would use it for. Um, oh, never mind. <laughs> I just found out what I would use it for. In this same room. Alright, so you... Damn it! Ah, it's supposed to go on the wall. Fucking hell. Okay. Um. Let's put you right here. So I can always see my keys. These are the things that I think about. Also, accent walls. Yeah! I fucking love them. I absolutely fucking love these accent walls. So perfect. One thing that bothered the shit out of me with um, this wall that I have on the left, I think it's called the cafe wall, um, is that on this wall, 
some of the items would like overlap with the window section of it and i'm just like why Ugh, it just looks so bad it bothered me but i tried to suppress it as much as i could i talked to a lot of therapists about it not really um but yeah i just don't i don't like it but now i no longer have that struggle because i have part uh, partition walls ha, soon not yet i haven't unlocked that but uh, now I have accent walls, and I feel like these two go really well together. At least for now, because I saw at least two walls that I'm dying to get my hands on. But until then, these will do. I really like how they look. Not even gonna lie. Uh, hold on, let me just put this shit back where it belongs. I have this crown here because, damn it, damn it, there we go. I have this crown here because um, I got super fucking rich super fast when this game came out because I know how to do turnips and I got really lucky that, um, not Joan, oh my god, what's baby Joan's name? I forget it now. Sally Mae. Sally Mae. No, Daisy Mae. Sally Mae is that horrendous company, that loan shark company. Um, Daisy Mae. Uh, she was selling bells, bells. She was, God, I cannot fucking vocabulate today. Um, she was selling turnips for like 91 or 92 bells, really, really, really low. And then somebody that I know, um, had a buying price of like 500 something. It was ridiculous. And I was like, holy shit, what a perfect fucking time so i bought as many as i could i went i sold i used that same money came back bought a shit ton more and so on and so forth and yeah i got super fucking rich super fast early on in the game which thank god because this game is very expensive like to do everything in this game it's a lot of bells so yeah i put that crown up there to immortalize my fucking richness my money bagness which is actually the title on my passport if you look over here here, ah, full fledged money bags. Holy shit, that picture is old. I need to change that. That's from my old island layout. That's a, a tree on top of a, a hill that I made behind where my house is or where it used to be. Um, I mean, same area more or less, just my house used to be on the first level or the first tier, like ground level. And uh, this was uh previously quote unquote inaccessible through normal means um but yeah that i gotta change that and i will change that but now 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 it's not the time and maybe now with the new camera angles and shit it would look even better and i love this hairstyle this hairstyle i don't know if i've mentioned this before oh i may have mentioned it but fucking elgato ate up my fucking audio um this hairstyle, Harriet gave it to me. It's the only hairstyle that I've gotten from Harriet, and it's the exact hairstyle that I wanted from the beginning. I've just gotten really, really fortunate um, with some of this stuff since the DLC came out and, you know, the updates and all that. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. All of my babies, they're all over the place. I am still growing more gyroids. Like, I have another one cooking underground, and I'm digging up tomorrow. Uh, I dug up like two, I think two or three, I think it was two today, two new gyroids or not new, but you know, repeats cause I have them all. Um, and yeah, I'm still placing them around Pearl, what's up bitch? A do-rag? How much? Okay. Yeah. I'll take your do-rag just cause I like you. I don't need a do-rag. I don't wear do-rags, but maybe I'll wear one now. A do rag. This bitch. Bitch, that ain't your fucking do rag no more. I purchased it. This is mine. Let's see what it look like. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not gonna wear that, but it's cute. I could sell it. Picnic basket. Oh fuck! I forgot to put this back. Okay, I'm gonna put this back. Um, but yeah, that has been my tour. You know what? Let me actually. <sighs> Okay, let's wrap around. Let's wrap around this way. Let me actually take you guys to get a closer look of that one gyroid that we only saw from a distance. Uh, yeah. 
I actually took the long way around there. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is another little baby. Look at him. He's so focused. Do your little thing. Do your little thing. Go ahead. Yeah. He, 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 it's so cute. Look at it. Oh my god. It's so fucking cute. I love these gyroids. But yeah, it's over there. Keep in watch. Making sure that its treasures are uh, safe. It's got a cannon. It is volatile. And it is not afraid to use it. But yeah. That has been everything I've been doing. Look at Willow Smith up there. You go, Willow Smith. Um... This has been, yeah, everything I've been doing so far. It's very nice. I have this here in case, you know, I want to get quick access to the museum from my house. Um, once I have the wheat field, it'll be less visible. But this one is, is, it's out there in the open and I really don't mind. Like, at all. I, I don't mind it at all. I kind of... Part of me wants it to be out in the open just because it's like, all right, it's really tedious to go all the way down there from my house because you have to go hell of the fuck way around. So I'll just, you know, I'll keep it out here. I'll keep it out here. Um, But I mean, the whole purpose of my island setup was because I wanted to make it not tedious, but I wanted to make it like give it a purpose to go around and actually see the island. Like, I don't want to just go the same two routes every day and be like, oh, well, I'm just, I'm done. And then I don't only see like 10% of the stuff that I have out. No, I want to see everything. I want to see it all. Okay, so I'm going to place this. Is that, is that it? No, yeah, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. All right, so yeah, I'm done here. We're done here. I'm going to fucking go uh, do some... Uh, whatchamacallit, happy home paradise shit and 